Hey, it's Tony, and a couple quick notes before we get into today's video. First of all, some of you may be triggered because, yes, Christmas is already up at my house. My wife loves Christmas, and I always say, happy wife, more guitars, right? So, yes, I oblige that. Second, I filmed this unboxing a few days ago, not knowing whether I was going to use it as, you know, unboxing and the full review all in one video or separate them. Well, it's Friday. This thing is absolutely beautiful, and I thought, well, why not just do a Fast Friday video and let's unbox it. All right, I got another Firefly guitar. This one is pretty sweet. Sweet. Well, at least from the pictures that I saw on guitarsgarden.com, this is the PRS Orianthi Tribute. Let's check it out. Welcome back. I'm Tony, and yeah, we're going to be unboxing this Firefly FFPS uh, PKN IN682. That's a long name, but it's basically an FFPS PKN. Let's just get right into it. So, got this off guitarsgarden.com. Oh, I can't remember the price of it. I'll have to look and I'll put that up on the screen. Yep. And right here at the top, it says PRS on there. You see that? PRS. So, I mean, you know, it's a tribute to a PRS guitar, and I guess that's probably just an identifier they put on there. I hate to do this upside down, but that's what we're going to do. These things are encased really well in styrofoam, so... Jeez. I feel like there's tape inside that is stuck to the box. There we go. That broke loose. Sorry, man, I know you're upside down. Hold on, we'll get you straight right now. Yeah, there's a piece of tape that's right here that was sticking to the inside of the box. Yeah, obviously the elephant in the room, my wife, is a big Christmas nut. So yeah, Christmas is already up. I find that it's better to keep the piece and just give her what she wants when it comes to that. So I helped her out last weekend. Let's go ahead and open this up. As always, these are pretty well sealed up. And they're styrofoam. I, when I first got one of these, I was like, really? In styrofoam? But it's surprisingly resilient. Wow, okay. I got tape on the inside on this one. Oh man, I'm already looking at that fretboard. And uh, she is already looking beautiful. Ooh, the color's looking good. Okay, as always, we get a little bag that has the, uh, well, you've got a guitar cable in here the tremolo bar, and there's also an Allen wrench in here. Let's pull her out. It's kind of a no frills approach when it comes to the accessories to get with these. Ooh, yeah. Well, as you can see, the paper uh, stuff has just been shredded up pretty bad, but... Ooh, boy. As much as I like that this stuff protects the guitars, it can be a pain in the butt. Well, it's already shredded. Let's just tear it off of there. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. Ooh. She is looking pretty. Your tuners. They're not locking tuners. Let's just bring her up close to the camera. Headstock. The neck. Here's the body. That's like a deep mahogany color on that back. Okay, you ready to see your front? Oh boy. Look at that. She's pretty. We'll get to that neck in just a minute. One thing I noticed right off the bat, where they matched up the bookmarking of the veneer here on the top, there's a little bit of a gap there. I mean, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Something I'd point out. Nice cutaway right here. And then look at this neck. Oh my goodness. Ooh, yeah. Well, all right. I'm gonna have to uh, plug this thing in and see how she sounds. So there we go. You can see why I didn't wanna hold back. I just, uh, man, I just wanted to share it. It's a great guitar. I got to tell you, I've got several Fireflies. They've they've all been good, but the last couple that I've gotten had just vast improvements over the first one that I got. 
no microphonic pickups or anything like that. So that's a big bowl of stoke, right? This thing is finished really, really nicely. And it's pretty true to the shape and style of the original PRS Orianthi. The tremolo system on this is different than what I'm used to. So I'm gonna have to uh, really investigate, you know, see how much I like it, but it looks really good and it, it's really solid. This thing has stayed in tune, no problem, no locking tuners or anything else. The tremolo arm is a little bit long and the angle on it's a little bit steep. I would like it to be, I don't know. We'll see after I give it some time playing. But man, this guitar is really, really nice. $239. How does it sound? It sounds really good too, but you're gonna have to wait. Yeah, uh, what I'm gonna do is spend a little bit of time with this thing. I may lower the action a tiny bit. I'll tell you that the neck on this is really thick. It reminds me of my uh, official Fender Telecaster. Not quite a baseball bat, but not as thin as I typically like. I'm not going to be bothered by that though because it plays really nicely and just looks fantastic. Sounds good too. So I'll get that full review up hopefully next week for you on this. It's all sold out on the Guitars Garden website. As a matter of fact, the website is pretty thin right now, which means that you can expect a drop coming soon. So you might see more of these on the drop. Uh, people have been looking for that Dean ML style. That might be coming back on a drop. You just never know. Easiest way is to follow them on Instagram because uh, at least a week before they do a drop, they'll start kind of dropping hints. Well, we're looking at putting this model up and that kind of stuff. So I'll put a link down in the description to that Instagram account as well as a Facebook group where you'll find a lot of information about them and when they are doing their drops. But man, I mean, stainless steel, ball in frets, everything on here. Okay, we'll leave that for the review. She's a bit of a stunner and she sounds great too. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. And if you'd like to win a Firefly guitar, I've got a Firefly Explorer style guitar that I'm going to be giving away before Christmas. So stick around if you'd like to win one. No, I'm not giving this one away. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means the world to me. And if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, there's a red subscribe button down there and a notification bell. Click both of those. You'll get notifications when I upload new videos. It is not inexpensive to run these channels. So if you're so inclined, want to toss a couple bucks my way, there's a thanks button right down below this video. Every penny counts. I, I just really appreciate that you're here watching the video. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time on the Vapor Trail channel.